Yo what's up guys, this is Alias and in this video I will show you how to make this really cool looking lightning logo reveal animation in After Effects and yeah it's really simple, we need one plugin which is completely free and this is the Saber plugin and I will put a link in the description but otherwise for these cool lightning bolts we will only need After Effects effects and presets so yeah I'd say let's just start so let's delete all this and yeah first of all let's add our logo uh, okay this is uh, really dark so let's maybe also deactivate this so we can see it better for now and then just yeah create a solid and turn down the opacity to like 10% so we can see through it and now we have, we have to mask out this logo on this on the solid so select our pen tool and just let's just yeah mask it out real quick and if you want straight lines you can just hold shift like here on the bottom and yeah okay so now let's turn back the opacity to 100 and delete our logo um yeah and now we can add the saber effect which is one of my favorites and we can just yeah select some some nice preset i'll just use the electric preset because i think yeah this looks really good and now we have to go to customize core and change the core type from saber to layer mask so it will be yeah applied to the mask we just did and yeah, now this looks good, but we want it to have like a fade in animation and of course a fade out animation. So let's do this real quick. So let's just go to the beginning and put in a keyframe at start offset and put it to like 100% and then just go forward to like one second and turn it back to zero. So we have this cool fade in effect. And now we can also do this for the end. So we have to put in a keyframe at end offset at 100 and go to the end and turn it down to zero. So now we already have this cool effect and we can play around with some settings. Um, sometimes I like to turn down the end size a little bit like this. So we get like, yeah, it's not, um, yeah, it's like it has a little bit uh, more details it's not uh, the same thickness everywhere and I think this looks a bit better but yeah you can do it whatever you like and yeah now we have to make some lightning bolts for this we have to create a new solid and yeah just search for lightning and select advanced lightning and yeah okay so first of all let's change um the the lightning type from direction to strike and we also want the color to be similar to our our logo so go to where is it to core settings no to glow settings and just select the pen tool and yeah just yeah find the perfect color and yeah okay let's animate this because as we can see it's just like static it doesn't move and we don't want this of course so let's go to the beginning and place the keyframe at conductivity state and then just go to like yeah one second maybe and put in something like six so yeah now we have this and i think this looks really cool maybe it's a bit too fast so we can maybe Turn this down to not six, but yeah, maybe three. Let's see. Yeah, this looks cool. And we can also animate the fade in and fade out animation for this one. So let's go to first of all, let's select the effect and place some keyframes at the um, first of all at the direction. So we want the direction at the beginning to be the same as the origin and then we can go forward a bit 
and just drag it down just like this and now we have oh wait i accidentally, accidentally uh, chose the one the wrong keyframe so let's do it again Okay, but let's also give it um, a fade in and fade out animation. So go to the beginning and um, oh no, actually go to one second and place a keyframe at direction, and then just go back to the start and yeah, move the direction up basically to the beginning. So we get this, yeah cool effect where it just comes in like a, like a lightning bolt and maybe let's just move the keyframes a bit so it will be faster just like this and again we can also make a fade out animation for this we have to place a keyframe at origin then just go forward a bit and then drag down the origin to the destination so now we got this cool effect and yeah let's actually bring this back a little bit or just to this keyframe so yeah we have we can see how long this lightning bolt exists and then we can just play with the size a bit maybe first of all turn it, turn it down and then we can just duplicate it a few times with ctrl d and move it and rotate it to wherever we like so change the size again, change the rotation a bit and yeah, you can play around as I said and just try a few things that you think look cool and I also really like to displace the, these, um, the lightning bolts on the timeline a bit so they start on different times, so it will look more, more random. And yeah. But it's up to your creativity how you how you like these these ones. So just do what you think looks good. Maybe change the directions a few times. And as I said, displace them a bit. And now we got this cool effect. And yeah, that's it basically. Okay, this one doesn't fit that much, but let's change it real quick. And yeah, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you next time.